Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we are doing something super, super cool, especially if you're a Star Trek fan like me. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to explore the Enterprise D and not just the bridge here. We're going to explore quite a bit of the cool parts of the ship. So I cannot wait to take you on this journey with me and uh, tell you a little bit about how I'm doing this as we go. So, all right, beat me up. All right, so before we start exploring the D, you know, I just wanted to give everybody a quick history lesson on what this actually is that you're about to see. So, all right, back in the early days of VR, I mean, kind of like the end of the DK2 days, I believe, a group of very talented developers got together and, you know, they were all Star Trek fans and they wanted to recreate the entire Enterprise D in virtual reality as an environment that you could visit and, and really feel present in. I mean, the sound effects and NPCs, and I mean, it was nuts. And for years, they flew it under the radar. I mean, it, it got better with every iteration, and finally, you know, it caught the attention of CBS Paramount, who came in and their lawyers squashed it like a bug. So cease and desists went out, the files had to be removed from the internet, which is exactly why I can't share them, so please don't ask. So, it, you know, it, it, it was just, it broke everybody's heart because this was it, guys. This was a Star Trek fan's dream. I was able to be on that ship and feel present on that ship. And, and it was just ripped away from the fans. So, you know, I'm glad that I can show it to you guys today, uh, especially with the resurgence of Star Trek and all the nostalgia about the D over the last couple of weeks with, with the, you know, the rebirth of that ship in the final two episodes of Picard. So, all right, let's jump on the turbo lift and let's go explore the Enterprise D. Oh, God, that always freaks me out just a little bit. Actually, well, it actually kind of tickles. But anyway, either here nor there, we have just transported onto the turbo lift outside of the main bridge on deck one of the Enterprise D. And, you know, I, I could not be more excited to step through these doors. So, all right, man, it's been many, many years. And last time... I'm sitting at a desk. This time, I'm actually going to walk through. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, God, it worked. I actually approached the doors, and they opened, and I am standing on the bridge of the Enterprise D. This is nuts. The carpet. Oh, man. So, okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and explore just a little bit. So, all right. Now... Interestingly enough, um, the, the whole ship was the goal to be recreated, and and uh, I can show you guys here in a minute in the in the turbo lift there. It, quite a few sections were done before the project got shut down. So we'll start by exploring the bridge here. We may not get to all the sections in just one video. If you guys want, tell me in the comments. You know, I I will cut into several videos and we'll explore the whole ship together. But uh, we'll start with the bridge uh, and a few more sections tonight. So, all right, the bridge we have seen in other games. Uh, you know, obviously, we've seen the bridge in Bridge Crew. Uh, but you couldn't get up and really walk around on the bridge. And, you know, as you saw there, I can actually walk around room scale if I have a large enough environment. Or it does have teleport here. And, and it's the directional style of teleport where I can, you know, tell it which way I want to face. Now, if I wasn't on camera with you guys, I could just turn with my body and just use the teleport and then quickly, you know, bounce around the ship where I want to go. 
uh, but for the purposes of this, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, face forward here and use the teleport. So, all right, looking out the main viewer screen, man, the planet, you can see like the rings rotating at the space station, nice looking star in the background. So, you know, for the day that the graphics on this were already looking pretty damn sweet. Um, and, you know, there you go. We've actually got Mr. Data at the helm. Now, I can say that's probably about the time that Paramount started to pay a little more attention to this because we were starting to see actual characters from the show pop in, um, you know, so uh, still don't understand why just something like this, a, a fan created labor of love had to be squashed. But, you know, the almighty dollar, I guess, I, I, I don't know, I'm not going to rant about it throughout the video here, I might here and there, because uh, it does get me a little emotional. Uh, th this should have been you know, it should have been allowed to be completed. It, it, it is a complete labor of love. I mean, as you can see from little details like this, I mean, you know, the dedication plaque here. And, and I mean, it literally every name is actually correct. It, it is 100 percent authentic to what it should be for this ship. And ah, to boldly go where no one has gone before. So. All right, let's let's go where a few people have gone before, and well, mostly people can't go anymore because you can't find the files for this. And you know, as I said in the intro, I would love to share it as a true Star Trek fan, but I, I really can't. Um, so hopefully, if anybody is ingenuitive enough and they want to try to find this for themselves, uh, they can. But I I can't help you there. Um, let's see what else can we explore here. Um, there, there are definitely some interactive elements, um, so, uh, hey buddy, do you mind if I take over your console here for a minute? Oh, yep, oh, a fire! Fire those photon torpedoes! Oh no! Oh, oh wait! Oh, no, not the space station! Oh crap! Oh, I am so getting thrown in the brig for that! Oh, buddy. Okay. That was not good. I done blew up a space station, y'all. Um, so, oops. <sighs> yeah. Um, I don't want to do it, but I guess I need to go talk to Picard and tell him what happened. So, uh, is this is another door I'm going to try to actually physically walk through because that is just an amazing feeling in VR and especially for a Star Trek nerd because I'm going to walk into Picard's ready room and tell him I just blew up a space station. Uh, wish me luck. Um, hello, sir. Um, excuse me, Captain Picard. Uh, I, I, I apologize, sir. Um, I, I must inform you that I just accidentally, it, it was an accident. I did not mean to hit the button, but I kind of blew up a space station, sir. And uh, I'm very sorry about it. Ah, oh, God. I can't tell you how many times I sat there and, and watched this the, these environments and, and these characters and and now I'm, I'm getting to walk around and and interact in some strange way so all right let's see speaking of interact yep there we go and and, and it is it actually is working oops um, and, oh well I guess I can talk about that right here too so you've got your communicator badge here and that's actually how you're gonna access um, some interesting stuff like you can change your graphics quality uh, you could have set your uh, your sex and your skin tone uh, we can we can go ahead and call a red alert here you know so ooh, oh, red alert um, let's go back to normal here for a second there we go you can turn the NPCs off, um, but this is what I thought was really interesting: is is you can actually change the the look of the bridge here. You can actually see what the bridge looked like, say here in season one. Uh, so you know, I mean, if you watch the show, you you know throughout the years the the look of the ship slightly changed. Uh, so you can see we had the old consoles here and and kind of the the white 
lighter bar here on the back and then and then you know we can go back to uh, what we started with here which was the t uh, the seasons two through seven so the main bulk of the the show here was done on this bridge um, let's see here sorry trying to find my communicator badge and then we've got yesterday's enterprise here which I love this one I love the lighting in here it just looks nice this this like soft blue here and uh, got tactical here so very cool um, now some of the you see I'm trying to touch these some of the the displays are interactive but I think those are mostly going to be on the seasons two through seven bridge um, so let's see here kind of rounding it out here we got the all good things which is the finale um, bridge here this would have been Rikers uh, I believe Rikers Enterprise D with the four nacelles and stuff like that so very cool there and then last but not least we have generations uh, looks like the tactical finally got a chair <laughs> didn't have to stand uh, so we've got the generations bridge here uh, from the film so very cool that you get the the variations on the bridge uh, you can also do the emergency transport so anytime you get lost uh, or fall through the floor because you know it was completely unfinished you can uh, just tap your communicator badge here and do an emergency transport so all right we're going to change that back to seasons two through seven turn that off and all right so you know we've taken a look at the bridge here we've we've gone and met captain picard in his ready room so what else is here on deck one uh, that's right we've got the observation lounge here so we'll go ahead and head on down to the observation lounge um, definitely saw this room quite a few times in the series and you know again it is just the little things i mean the attention to details the sounds just the, the way that things look here uh, i think yeah can i get that uh well no all right that one fell through the floor but uh you know just the the fact that i mean so many things were meant to be interactive um a replicator there oh phaser oh can i get the phaser i can <laughs> Yes! Oh, phaser! I got a phaser. I'm gonna phaser you. I'm gonna phaser right through your head, sir. So, haha. <laughs> that is cool. Alright, I wish I could carry it with me. So, there's my communicator badge. Now I can see it. Alright, come on. Where are the board? Okay, so. Nope. Okay, so. Looks like that's all we can really do down here. And I think, yeah, that does not go anywhere. So, all right, we'll have to head back to the turbo lift and uh, see where it can take us. All right, so we're back in the turbo lift here. So you can see here, we've got quite a few destinations we can go to. I mean, quite a few decks that they had already finished. So yeah, obviously deck one, deck two here, we've got Data's Wharf's uh, quarters. We've got the cargo elevators, escape pods, and the crew lounge. We've got the main shuttle bay upper section, the main shuttle bay. We've got the transporter rooms and science labs, the arboretums, Picard's porters, the battle bridge, nine forwards, teller cartography, ten forward, the computer core, sick bay, holodeck six through nine, shuttle bay two, the brig, nacelle control, and main engineering. Man, that is a lot that they already had done. Okay, so like I was saying back in the turbo lift, there, there is just too much to cover all in one video here, guys. So, you know, I think I am. I, I think I'm going to break this up into a series where, where basically we cover a deck, you know, in each video. And then that way we can kind of stretch this out and explore the entire ship. So if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, let me know what you think of this whole thing I, I i just i don't know it still makes me sick to my stomach that this got shut down it it would have been glorious to have this and you know maybe hopefully one day we we get a true virtual reality 
complete Star Trek simulation, away missions and bridge, and we're all on different ships and communicating with each other across view screens. It's, it's like my freaking dream. But until then, I'm going to enjoy stage nine. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching to the end, and if this was your first time, you know what to do on the way out the door. Smash that subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified the next time I do something cool in VR. But for me, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off. Peace.